Hey everyone, this is Color Martian here. If you like this audio, the full version will be available on Patreon, the outside, coffee, and Payhip. Much love. Damn it. I still can't believe he jumped off the cliff and into the ocean. He killed himself rather than let himself be killed by me. It was a good hunt, too. The best I have so far. And the costliest. He killed my trusty manservant, Evan. He also managed to injure me. It will be a while before my shoulder is fully healed. Well, he's dead now. But unfortunately, not in my hand. So there's nothing to be done about it but to get some good night's sleep. Then I can arrange a replacement for Evan. Hopefully, I can get them properly trained in how I like things before the next poor sod washes up on my shore. It's always handy to have a maid seven around when I'm hunting my prey. So, I'll just pour myself a glass of cognac like so and get myself ready for... For... Or should I pour a second glass now? For it seems I'm not alone. I'm a good enough hunter to know when I'm being watched. Come out from behind the curtain. You no doubt that I am unarmed, so there is no use in hiding. Huh? I knew my senses did not feel me. I see that you somehow survived your plunge into the ocean. You must have spun around the island when I make trek through the voice back here. I guess congratulations are in order. It's three days into the hunt, and the clock just struck midnight. It seems the draw has been morning earlier is actually a defeat for me, and a victory for you. Well, I'm a woman of my word. You're free to go. I'll pilot you personally in my sloop to the mainland, and drop you off near town. I do trust you'll be a gentleman and not tell anybody about my little game here. Hmm. I don't blame you for being a little upset at me. I can tell from that look in your eye. No, maybe it's the pistol you're holding in your hand. That pistol has been a prized friend of mine since I was a young girl. But it seems it doesn't have a sense of loyalty. It will kill me as readily as I use it to go. Hmm. Was it seven? No, it's others before. It doesn't have to end like this, though. As you are aware, I am a woman of some folk. There is more than just this island and all you see upon it. You have pestered me in a hunt. And as such... You are entitled to more than just your life, I suppose. You could live quite comfortably if you choose to allow me to live as well. Otherwise, all you will have is what few items you can carry with you off this island. Hardly worth your trouble, really. I can see you don't trust me. But have I ever lied to you in the brief time I've known you? I am a woman of honor. Or perhaps you have too much sympathy for my other brain now and would kill me solely to prevent my hunting any more men. <sighs> Very well then. Not only have I lost at the most dangerous game, but I've also lost my taste for the sports. But I've gained quite a bit. Losing the game. I've gained a throw that's every bit the equal of killing my prey. I focus so much energy on being the predator that it's strangely refreshing to be the prey. Refreshing and exciting. Do you find me attractive, sir? <laughs> For a man with a gun in his hand and so in charge of the situation, I still manage to look frustrated. I guess that answers my question. Although, I already knew the answer that night when we dined together. Just down the hallway from here. I wasn't dressed in khakis then like I am now. I was wearing a dress. 
And quite a scandalous one at that. You couldn't help but stare. My body is quite nice, despite a few scars here and there. I've used my appearance as a weapon every bit as deadly as that pistol you hold. But I am helpless now. Hmm. It's quite an invigorating feeling, actually. You could certainly kill me. But I had already given my word that I would share my worth with you. And that I will hunt men no longer. But will you truly have your victory until you assert your sexual dominance over me? And until you take your pleasure from the fairy body that almost killed you several times? You felt it, didn't you? No thrill with the hunts. You waited for me to show up back to this room. And bid your time. Knowing you had the position of power. Now that you have me cornered and hopeless. Don't you want to finish me off? To claim your prize? Can you really say that we're all in that difference after all? Maybe I'm a little bit more extreme in my methods, but knowing that you could kill me so easily, don't you feel the lure? At the same time, you can always bet me worse, and then kill me after. It seems to me a man like you would like to keep your options open. And I'm good a bit less fun when I'm dead. Besides, you can always kill me later. So why not throw me now? Perhaps you think this is our trap? You're right to be concerned. I was trying quite intently to kill you not too long ago. But that was all part of the game. That game ended at midnight though. As a sweet woman of honor, I was bounded by those rules. So, I propose a new game. Now that you pester me, you can bet me. After trying to survive being hunted by me for the last three days, my bed must be looking very soft and inviting. Well, I can be very soft and inviting when I want to be. You bet me. And I don't try to stop you or kill you, even in self-defense. You can still kill me after you have me, or if you spare me. I will spare no expense in seeing that you live the life of luxury, just as I do. My fortune will be at your disposal, just as much as my body. This is not a good thing. There's a gun in my nightstand. You can toss it out the window if you want. You may want to do the same for its twin under my pillow. There's also a knife stuck between the mattress and the headboard. The bed is safe now. Although, you're welcome to search some more. It's a very old bed. But I assure you, it's quite sturdy if you care to put it to the test with me. You could even tie me to the bedpost if you like. Spread eagle and helpless. So that even if there's a weapon nearby, I couldn't reach it. That may be fun, actually. At least, I'm enjoying the thought of it. But I'll leave that up to you.